Hello everyone, this will be my first Unreal Engine tutorial. One of my subscribers asked me how I did this showcase video for my new Unreal Engine Marketplace product and I'll share with you my workflow for this. So basically you can see it's a turntable for a couple of products where they make one full circle and they change to the next product. Okay, so first let me show you the basics of this setup. The first idea is that you can have a static mesh with a rotating movement component. Here you put the amount of rotations you want, it's in degrees, so basically now it will take two seconds to fully rotate. You can click play. You can see that nothing is happening. That's because you don't have uh, the mobility set to movable. So now in your scene, you should be uh, clicking here on the mobility movable. That's needed for the rotating movement component to work. So now you can see that the product is turning and the idea is that you want for each turn the product to change so you can have automatically all your products set up like this and make a full video and don't bother stitching the video later in your compositing software. So now let me show you how to do that. You need a blueprint class for this and it needs to be an actor to be placed in your scene. Let's call it showcase tutorial. And inside you can do the same as you did there. You add a static mesh component. Let's call it SM and you add a rotating movement component so the static mesh should be set to movable and here if you choose the same bottle as we have before let's delete this from our scene and use this blueprint instead let's put it on the same place and you can see that the result is the same and now you would like to change the product after two seconds, after one full rotation. So go into the blueprint, go to the event graph and to the begin play event. You, you can have the set static mesh node connected to your static mesh component. Here it is, it should be set into the target slot and into the new mesh you choose your new uh, model that you would like to, to swap. Now if you hit play you can see that the blueprint is changing the model and the rotating component is still working. The problem is it is doing it immediately so you would add a delay between these nodes and you would set it to two seconds so now on begin play it will wait two seconds and then it will change the static mesh to the other bottle you can see here now after two seconds the product is changed and it's showing the new one now what do you do if you have more products so basically you can do the same by copying it and pasting it and changing the mesh to some other product let's say this one and now after two seconds it will change to the first and after two more it will change to the next one but you can see that the more products you have to showcase, the more 
uh, repeating code you will get. So now let me show you how you can do everything in one for loop. So for this you will need a variable, let's call it meshes and it should be a static static mesh component static mesh here okay and it's the type should be an array so compile to get it here into default values and here you can add elements let's say first it will be this bottle then it will be the other bottle then it will be the first bottle cage and then it will be the second bottle cage so i'm having four products and i don't want to repeat this code four times for repeating the same code four times for every mesh uh, you can use the for loop so the for loop basically executes the loop body for every index that you gave to the as an input so for it starts with the first index and increments by one until it reaches the last index and then after it increments it no longer meets the condition to be in this range so it stops and executes the completed function if you have such we will not have one but as you can see in the meshes array you start with an index of 0, then 1, then 2, then 3. So for the, our for loop, we start with the first index of 0 and last index of 3. Same as in our array here. So now instead of setting the mesh to a, by choosing it here, we will set it from this array so we will get a copy of our item and choose the index so now for the first index for, for the first time it executes it will use an index of 0 and it will set the mesh to the red bottle then with an index of one it will use the second bottle then the third item and the last one this is the idea what we are trying to do here unfortunately you see that we'll have a problem that our object disappears after the delay What's happening is that this code is executed four times, but it's executed four times immediately, even before the first delay is reached. And this index is past the index of all the meshes in the, our array, and it sets uh, invalid mesh by the index 4 which it doesn't exist here you can see this by printing the index now you can see on the screen that after the bottle disappears it prints 4 so it uses an index of, of 4 which is outside, outside of the array and that's why we don't get anything. If you read the delay description, it will tell you that it will not call it 
before the countdown is done so that's why we're calling it once all the other times it's not the delay is still not finished so it doesn't call it again but this index is already incremented to 4 by the time that this duration comes in so what we need to do let's just get rid of this so what we need to do is change our for loop to a for loop with delay which will be a customization to the existing for loop in in Unreal Engine Blueprints so if you double click on the for loop you can see that it's a macro consisting of some nodes you can copy them control C and now here instead of this for loop we'll paste this uh, <coughs> these nodes collapse them to a macro enter in our macro and we need to add some inputs so first we need to execute input that will enter and call our nodes and for the output we also need let's call it for uh, whoop body like in the original for loop we need another execute when the all of the indexes are executed then we execute this complete and we need one more output which will be an integer and it will be the current index uh, here it is local integer so for the inputs we need two integer inputs one will be first index and the other will be last index so first index goes here last index goes here <coughs> you can see that we recreated exactly this for loop the first index goes to here last index goes to here this local integer goes to the output this whoop body is coming from the sequence and this completed execute note is coming from this branch so we have exactly the same here and the difference is that we'll add our delay here two seconds and now here in our event graph we have this macro let's rename it to for whoop delay we don't need this delay actually we only need our function body now you can see that we have the same inputs, we have the same outputs, but the delay is added inside the loop, so it will be executed on each loop and it will wait for the next one to execute it again. And you can see that if I hit play, it changes to the next bottle, to the next item, to the next item and in the end it doesn't have anything to change so it stops okay so what can we do to make this a little bit better we can go into our macro here we can add one additional input mm. delay 
and we'll put it as a fault and we'll connect it here so now you can put your delay here instead of going into the macro let's see you, we use the same two seconds and now you can see that it's working as expected that's basically the whole setup you can add a variable here that will be seconds it will be a fault it will be a public variable and we will use it here in that way you can set up the seconds here so two seconds it will be exactly the same one second it will change faster the other thing you can do is set the the rotating movement rate here the we are using the z value so before going to the function that will change our uh, items we'll use this seconds variable we need to use fold divided by fold so we'll divide 360 by the number of seconds and we'll use this as a z value let's split this pin and we'll connect it to the z value so now if we have for example two seconds it will divide 360 by two so it will give us the proper 180 for the rotation rate if we put 10 seconds it will use 36 degrees so now we can control everything by this seconds variable so if we put 10 we will get a slow rotation and after 10 seconds it will change to the next item and it will continue to rotate and change items that's it for for this uh, tutorial i hope that everything is clear if you have any questions please write down in the comments and if you have any other questions for how did i do something in my other videos please write a comment and i'll try to make another tutorial for this thank you guys if you're not subscribed please subscribe and you see the promo videos for my new products and for any other tutorials that i make thanks and bye